Right, welcome to uh, that Mill podcast. Um, something different. A match, a uh, full time match report. Um, we've all been watching the game, the friendly between Colchester and Millwall, which obviously finished 1 0. Um, and we're going to give you a little our views on um, on the game, um, what our thoughts are on Fleming and Honeymoon, etc. etc. So, um, without further ado, I'll I'll bring in the panel. Uh, good evening, Chris. Good evening, gents. Good evening, Mickey. You all right, fella. Uh, good evening, Joe. Good evening. How you doing, guys? You all right? All good. All good. Joe, do you want to introduce your boy? Yeah, this is uh, this is Junior Zampa, uh, aka Luke. Luke, you'll say hello. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> there we go. So. Um, Chris, your thoughts on this preseason friendly? It, it was okay. Um, I, I thought I thought uh, we were in control the whole game. Um, I wasn't at the Dartford game, so I can't comment on that. But I would imagine, from what I've heard, it was similar to that. You could tell culture started a little bit more about them, um, but we were in control. We were very rarely um, uh, tested. Um, I think George Longway made one good double save. But I think that was about it. Um, in terms of players, for me, um, I felt that um, Billy Mitchell had a good first half, keeping things ticking over. Um, I think if I had to give a man of the match, I'd probably give it to Cresswell. I thought there was a couple of times he broke up play, was really close to the way he brought the ball out, some good passes. Um, our goal was scrappy. Yeah, we won one nil. It would have been nice to get a couple more goals. I'm still a little bit worried about forward options. I think we do need to do a little bit more business in that area for me. Um, but what was really pleasing to see is the amount of depth we've got. Obviously, we had two games playing the other night, um, and you know when we made changes, it didn't it didn't um, didn't dis disrupt the play. Um, Want to give a, a final little shout out to Honeyman. I think he's really going to be a fan's favourite this season. He's everything you'd want in a Millwall player. He's um, tenacious, determined, even though it's a friendly. He gets forward. He arrives late in the box. Um, I think he's going to be a superb player. Um, and I, I won't talk about Fleming so much because I know there's another person on, on here that wants to talk a bit about Fleming. So I'll leave that. But um, overall, yeah, great to get a win. Fantastic clean sheet. But um, I still think there's, there's some work to do in the forward areas. Joe, over to you then. What's your views? Yeah, just just completely agree with what, uh, what Chris said there. Um, what what was very noticeable is that um, although we weren't struggling at all in the first half, there there was certainly an injection of quality in the second half when Honeymoon and Fleming comes. You can see that, can't you? And that also, I feel, uh, injects confidence in the rest of the team because something it kind of lifts a few of the other boys. I was quite impressed. I said to you guys before, I was quite impressed with George Evans. I mean, he looked really really good there. Um, very comfortable on the ball, great passing on the ball, good distribution. Um, Chris made a valid point earlier in the show to saying that, you know, we are playing against Colchester. Obviously, you know, against those sort of teams, he has got a bit more time on the ball. Will he do as well against the championship side? So it'd be interesting to see if he features much in the first few games next season. But he's he's looking pretty good for what I've seen in uh, pre-season. But, um, you know, big, big shout to, um, to, to Honeyman. Again, very, very tenacious, lots of running around. Fleming, though, um, you know, the quality the guy possesses. Um, you can see you can see he's not quite 100 percent yet. Yeah, he still sees he's adjusting to English football, but what he has got is that touch, is that quality, that continental way of playing. Yeah, he's a both footed player. He's looking to spread the ball wide, he's looking to play little flicks and little tricks and you know and, and create opportunities for his teammates. Um and give him a few more games. Once he gets to speed with the English, with the English game, um, he's going to be a very, very exciting player to um, to watch. We're really, really looking forward to seeing how uh, how his season goes. Um, no, I to totally agree. Let's yeah. get Luke. Luke, what's your views of today's game? And let's see um, if you're any better than your dad. Uh, no, I thought, it, I thought it was a good game. Very similar to the Dartford game, I felt. Um you know, I was happy with the performance of most of the players. Again, there's like a few little slip-ups here and there. Um, you know, I know we're talking about Fleming quite a lot here. And obviously, you know, his quality is great. But I do kind of fear that, not fear, but kind of worry about, you know, we have other quality around him. 
you know, are we going to get the most of him? You know, does he, you know, opportunities, are they going to arise with other players? You know, like we were talking about Mitchell earlier. Like, you know, we, we, we all know he's good, but every now and then, you know, there's kind of slip-ups. You know, I don't, I don't feel like Flemish going to have all this chances around him with that. Um, no. And I also thought, you know, Alaphi was good as well today. I was really impressed by him. Um, really impressed by him. I think, mm. I think Alaphi was good today. Um, I think Billy had a good first half. When Fleming came on, it was really, it was really hard to. Um, they're very similar. Watching obviously um, on the stream, it was very similar to. You keep getting confused until you see the number between Billy. Because at one point we all commented, didn't we, that wow, Billy's really good, and then we suddenly realised that it weren't Billy. Um, <laughs> so you know, look, um, I think there's some promising stuff once we start playing proper opponents, then we'll probably know a bit more. But, you know, for a pre-season mm. friendly, um, it was a good exercise to see how the players are gelling together. Um, and I suppose mm. that is. So, look, they were at the JobSurf, is it the JobSurf.com stadium? I think it is. That's right. Uh, Colchester, yeah. just off the M11 stadium. Um, this is just a quick match update. You've got another update from Kai who was there. Um, and join us again on Monday. I think we're doing a show on Sunday where we go into a lot more detail against the Colchester game. So uh, this was that we will podcast a quick match summary and uh, we'll see you again soon. Make sure to follow all the socials and remember to check out the live blog on the next game, which is Wednesday against... What's the name of the team? Hammer, Herman? Hammer, 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 Hammer. Emily, there we go. If there we go, mm. and uh, and uh, and we'll see you again, hopefully um, on Monday for the uh, analysis of the Colchester game. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon.